Good morning from the Kendrick Mountain Wilderness Area, northwest of Flagstaff, Arizona. Today I'm going to be hiking up to Kendrick Peak, which is one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks. This area is just a little west of the San Francisco Peaks and Humphreys Peak. Well, I had my alarm set for 3 a.m. this morning. Woke up at 1.30. Took about a minute to think, yeah, I think I can just get up now and got up, took my time getting ready and left the house about 2.30. It's 6.01 right now. Sun's been up for a little while. It's been light since about 4.40. Should be a good day for a hike. Yeah, there's a herd of elk up there. So they're making their way up into the forest. There's some right there. They cover ground a lot faster than I do, for sure. Wish I could move that fast. So there's the peak up there. I just stopped to take a break and looked up this way and there it is the goal of today so yeah I should have just about a thousand feet of elevation to go and hopefully less than two miles it's a little bit more of an alpine zone up here but not quite anyway peak is right up there there's some kind of cabin over here it shouldn't be too much further to go I'm getting really close to the summit now. Probably less than a tenth of a mile. There's been a bunch of switchbacks up from the cabin. All right, here it is, Kendrick Peak. I guess this is the highest point right here. Yeah, I think this rock is the actual high point and there's a benchmark up there right to the um, west of the lookout here. So I'm gonna take a break for a little while, let the sun get up a little higher and then try to get some views. Well, I'm standing on the east side of the lookout looking at the San Francisco peaks. So Humphreys Peak in the center and then I think it's Augustine's Peak on the right. I'm not sure which one the uh, one on the left is. All right, here's a look at the Grand Canyon. So the south rim and the foreground and then the north rim further back. North rim being about a thousand feet higher than the south rim from what I remember. I don't know what the closer mountain is, but I think the one further back is Bill Williams Mountain. So that's about 30 miles uh, west of Flagstaff by the town of Williams. There's a look at the lookout. Pretty neat. It does look like it's actually clearing up just a little bit. I'm gonna hang out for a little while longer. I'm gonna give myself probably an hour up here at least. Because the sky seems to be clearing up just a little bit further beyond immediate vicinity. It's beautiful all around here though, really nice. I heard this a while back and I just looked it up after my hike of Baldy Peak, but this is the largest continuous ponderosa pine forest in the world stretches from the Grand Canyon to I think into New Mexico and this is part of it right here and it's beautiful all right I've been up here for over an hour now it's crazy how fast time flies when you're having fun seems like a pretty fast hour but anyway look at Humphreys Peak right now with the cloud building over top or maybe just to the east of it 
So that cloud formed pretty fast, and it's only 8.43 in the morning. Give that thing another three to five hours, and who knows, it may intensify into a thunderstorm. I mean, the forecast for Kendrick was just clear skies, storms tonight, I think. But you just never know. That's why you have to start these peaks as early as possible in the summertime. Okay, here's one more look at the lookout. And the trail goes back to the east that way. You know, the hardest part of the summit is not getting to it, it's leaving it. You know you have to go, but you really just want to stay. All right, another one of the Arizona 2000 foot prominence peaks completed, as long as I make it down. Anyway, here's the Kendrick Mountain Cabin, built in 1912. I think it's locked, I'm gonna go check. I didn't even look right now, but I think it's locked. Uh, this is actually a really nice trail. It's rockier in places, but for the most part, it's just like this. It's really smooth. Especially going down, it's really nice. Like here's a few rocky sections like this, but most of the time it's more just kind of sand and dirt. Just a few flatter rocks mixed in, which aren't any obstacles whatsoever. Well, there's a look back up at Kendrick Peak, and look at the clouds building around it already. So that was a really nice trail, the Kendrick Peak Trail. Pretty smooth most of the way. All right, I'm back. It was nine and a half miles, four hours and 20 minutes with at least an hour spent on the summit and I think about 2,600 feet of elevation gain, 2,650. The trail was really nice, pretty smooth for the most part. You can really make some good time on it. And views all along were great. Views from the summit were pretty awesome too. Uh, if you hit this on a clear day, you should get some unbelievable views of the whole area, Grand Canyon, San Francisco peaks, and all around. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day, take care.